my dinner table. Alright, welcome everybody to Sultans of Sodus number two. Uh, Fighty's team is going to be defending their title as Sultan of Sodus. Uh, they did lose two players from their previous team, but they did pick up two new t new players. They will be the Protoss team, and the bands for this match are going to be Vorpal and Vautron. So uh, on the Protoss side of things, we have a Drake uh, from Fighty. Uh, he's been liking to carry Drake recently, so I expect him to go mid. Uh, Drake's uh, going to be a pretty effective carry given the um, what many of the pro players consider an uh, increase or a buff to his uh, molten um, armor and as well as his uh, his um, martyr. Just burning players down and having a lot of spell resist late game makes him quite powerful. Uh, top lane we have a cow and a um, Oxy, bottom lane we have a Kerrigan and a Rancor. Uh, Kerrigan Rancor looks like a pretty strong lane. Um, what do we have going bottom on Berk side? We have a Micro. That looks like a Kerrigan. A Micro Kerrigan against a Rancor Kerrigan. I expect the Rancor Kerrigan to win that lane, the Protoss side. What's going mid? Looks like we have a Drake carry for Zerg as well, from Soft. And um, a Tosh LZ going top for for Zerg. I think that the Tosh LZ is going to end up dominating the top lane. Um, they're just better players. Uh, King David is quite amazing with Tosh. Uh, once he gets his specters up, he's able to hold heroes in place to uh, put quite a bit of hurt on the other team. And they don't really have any stuns other than the uh, Toxic Q. It's going to be pretty hard for. Uh, Protoss team up top. Yeah, it looks like uh, Fighty clears the wave pretty quickly there. Uh, but both Drakes are going to be pretty okay. Ooh, Martyr going on for both. Who's going to get to the uh, re regenerator first? No, neither one. Oh, there's a pluck there from Fighty. Is Soft going to do anything against him? He can kill him right now. Oh, he misses. Marty goes up. The top is going to kill Fighty. And there, there you go. Viros gets first blood. Good job. It was a good teamwork. Um, I think in the channel, probably Soft was calling uh, Fighty low, Fighty low. And uh, Viros uh, responded in time. So it was good teamwork. Good teamwork. Yeah, it looks like Top is holding pretty well. Cow is trying to wall, but not able to. Looks like King David as his Tosh is stunning that cow and just bringing him to about almost half health. Another wall goes down. LZ gets really low, but Vesp is unable to spew on that. Back to mid. Looks like Soft has a lot more health and looks like Fighty's gonna go down again. Oh, uh, looks like uh, and Soft takes Fighty out. Yeah, their builds are quite different. Soft has a strength beat, so he has a lot more health in the early game. Fighty went for a more uh, HP regen, clearly creep build. It looks like Soft is uh, taking good advantage of uh, his extra health on top of Fighty. Ooh, at bottom tower, looks like Kerrigan got really low. He's gonna have to go heal. Yeah, I was watching that. Basically, the uh, Rancor uh, in the side shop had gone in and sniped the Kerrigan, but uh, they weren't really in position, and he got in a really bad location, didn't have his uh, uh, his cloaking field, and then the Micro went in through him. They ended up getting the kill on the Rancor, and then that left the Kerrigan alone to fight off the, the Micro and the Kerrigan by himself. Really, uh, when you want, when you're using your your snipe as Rancor, you you want to be using it to set things up, to set up, uh, you know, to, to stop a hero from attacking you. You don't really want to just be randomly sniping for no reason. Um. Yeah, it looks like we have King David farming up at the top. 
for the Zerg team. Yeah, doing really well. Has full specters up for level for level two. Yep, yeah, just got another one up. Right now, the Zerg looks like uh, they're winning all their lane. They're head on top in levels. And they're also head in bottom and mid. And down goes Ghost on bottom again. Wow, so 5 0 here for the Zerg team. Looks like they're gonna have. Or the Protoss team is gonna have a hard time coming back from this. It's down and bottom, the Micro just tosses the Rancor, and he's really squishy. He almost dies uh, after the uh, Kerrigan Q goes down. And now that he's under level, that lane's gonna be pretty hard for them to come back. Because they're probably just gonna focus up the Rancor. Ooh, looks like an engagement in the middle. And an ulti from Soft, but then an ulti from Fighty as well. So Fighty's gonna... What? He didn't get full health. Interesting. I think that was a recent change to the uh, ultimate. It gives you healing over time as opposed to an instant heal. It gives you 10% HP every second you're underground instead of instant. So the longer yeah. you stay in your ultimate, the more HP you get. Good to know, good to know. King David continuing to farm. And uh, one of the, the strategies that he's using with Tosh is he's really just trying to get up a nice a nice uh, head of steam with the Spectres because uh, if you look at his skill build, he's level 2 uh, Concussion and level 3 Spectre, which is basically maximum stuns. And he's really just trying to stun the other guys in place so that he can set something up for the Zerkan. This one's yeah, not going to go very well for, for them. They're not going to get it on top. Looks like Soft killed Fighty in the mid with 100 HP left. Bottom lane is pushing very strongly and actually looks like they're going to be farming a little bit here in the forest of the Protoss team. Yeah, they are. Yeah, top lane once again. If you, you know, to select David and all of his heroes, he's, he's already got like, you know, himself with six, six units following him around, which is which is what uh, gives him the uh, the parity that he needs. A lot of people talk about Tosh being a very very soft hero, and he, he is. But uh, enough stun and a, you know enough support from the rest of your team, Tosh can put on a lot of hurt. There you go, another kill. And at bottom, there was a really nice use of Kerrigan's ulti as well as a stun from the Rancor. They were able to take out the Micro without any losses. So congratulations there to the Protoss team. And at the top river we have, looks like Soft's gonna go for Fighty again. He does have some support from his, uh, oh, but Tosh gets walled, that's really yeah, nice Zerkin's there. gonna get but the kill Fighty's... here. Zerkin might get the kill. Gonna tower dive, I think. He's tower diving mid. Nope, 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 nope. Very close though. Nice job by Vespus to come and uh, help out his carry. Double regen, interesting for the Drake here. Looks like we're uh, seeing a gank on bottom. Nope. Guess uh, Soft thought, thought otherwise. Going back to clear the creeps in the mid. Yeah, top lane is just dominating with farming, clearing the wave, denying. Well, now the really the, top's gonna... the interesting thing about that is if you look at the the Protoss tower, uh, it's it's only taken like 200 damage, uh, which is very very little. So despite the fact that there's this back and forth that keeps going on, um, there's not a whole lot of uh, there's not a whole lot happening. It, they're sort of at a little bit of parity, and top lane is getting a little bit higher level. And once the like cow gets his ulti, uh, you can throw the ulti on top, and that yeah. lane's gonna change a lot. Really, the laning phase is all about trying to get momentum into the mid game and trying to get your your boots faster than the other team. Nice to not that top. 
Yeah, I saw that. So Kerrigan's doing a good job for the Protoss team to keep up with the other Kerrigan here, even though they are farming their uh, controls here at the bottom. Why he's gonna pick up a regen and gonna go gank top? Where's he gonna go? It's, uh, he's quite indecisive there by fighting. But you'll see a lot when you watch fighties play. Is he'll he'll tend to hang out um, in the top or bottom river uh, in between the creep waves. He's communicating with his team, trying to see if he can get in position uh, for a gank. If he can't, he's not even gonna go for it. And it's better to just waste that time than to possibly lose, uh, you know, get ganked yourself. Mighty miss a pluck there here in the mid. Here comes a toss from Grav in the bottom. Ooh, actually takes out the ghost. And now Kerrigan's in a lot of trouble. Will ulti on himself. And Fighty is there to support, but does get plucked by Soft. And does go down. Surprises. Looks like Fighty's gonna get killed here. He's a creative player, but he's not gonna live. Yep. Alright, so now that fight is dead, we can look at the items here. Rick Rollers for Nick and his Kerrigan for the Protoss team. Got some BM here from Fighty. Oh wow, the uh, still doesn't Zircan have is possibly gonna die. He got sprayed, yeah, he might. He might, no, he got a pot on. Cancel out that damage over time from the Vespas. Nicely done. Oh, we have a... Oh. Looks like Fighty's gonna gank at top. Has a speed creep, takes out King David. And bottom held as well. Uh, what I just saw, like, what I just saw there is uh, the micro went in and tossed the care the enemy Kerrigan on Protoss, uh, and then the the Zerg. And let's actually see what's happening top of top river. Yeah, the LZ is able wow. to put out too much DPS. Yep, it's gonna be a team wipe, and they're gonna they're gonna push. Actually, we have two two still sitting on bottom. What they should be doing instead of farming is they should go push that tower because uh, if they have vision of the map, they should have seen that there were four in the top river. Oh, GG. Alright, GG. So the Sultans of Sotis get dethroned and we will have a new champion. Congratulations to this team. When we see the scoreboard, I can give them your names. We had uh, Convict, King David, Soft Like Rock, Fumbles, and Viros. Nice, thank you, Death. Okay, so check back for the next Sultans of Sotis. Thank you all for watching and listening. On behalf of uh, Brandon and Death and Taxes, I am the Surgeon, here for the Surgeon TV. Shoots.